Hey. Pedophiles. Way to sink in. Meanie form. Wow. All right. So, <laughs> so none of that makes sense now. Uh, Heroes yeah. at Halfway. Oh, Come Ryan, on. no. <laughs> Season three, episode three, take three. We're doing this. It's going to stick this time. <laughs> no. We're, We're doing going. this again. <laughs> if I have no audio, who cares? <laughs> Ryan won't speak up is the problem. <laughs> I'll just yell into Gus's face if he's yeah. want to say something. No, wait, you're dealing with You remind people. me of a yeah. <laughs> version of Bill O'Reilly. You know, oh, like, yeah. We'll do it live. We're doing it. Last episode, you guys found yourselves back. You had returned from the plains and traveled back to uh, the Doom Cultus uh, Chateau, where you rescued the children and the other prisoners that were in cages who would have probably died. Uh, killed I mean, by they, you said they, they did, did die. die. I mean, it happened. We got future knowledge. It went back yeah. behind well, to stop Toby them. Well, Toby Sam told us, and you know, it could be a different, not sure how good reality it is. Yeah. Well, there were certainly gargoyles flying around outside. There certainly right. were. Yeah. <laughs> they were pretty <laughs> tough, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's way tougher than the boss fight we had. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were way harder than the fucking <laughs> <queens. laughs> That was tough. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it turns out I'm the anchor that holds it together. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a lesson to take from this. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's true. Albus was, had refrained from that fight because he was inside that uh, cell room um, performing rituals, scaring kids, yeah. fi- finding and his his sanity, his soul. Yeah, what little have you? look. I only have a few things that I need. One of them happens to be my little friend. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also, anyway. we're not there anymore. We're at the Green Alchemist yeah, place. So you, uh, right. Right. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no kids in there. there. Continue with the four foot so, dick. Four hand okay. dick. Yeah. Those four one foot dicks. Four. Or four one foot dicks. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, either way, four hands on dick. I don't yeah. remember what it's was. It's a canon. Voltron of oh, cock. That that's the, oh okay because Orma has four arms now. We all we all got so, shit. Oh my yeah. god. So uh, the Green Alchemist rewarded you guys and thanked you for getting rid of this evil cult, and he was able to focus all of his. Uh, um, production efforts on creating magic items for you guys, as well as granting you special boons. So, um, you uh, and the and the Green Alchemist now are about to go and have this ritual performed. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but but you, you got you got you, drunk first. You, you first so you, you, know. you got drunk okay. and passed yeah. around and came to. And that's okay. why you're here now. Yeah. Yes. You. Right. So <clears throat> they call uh, you Allison, I believe. They do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or just or- Orma. You know, or Orma. You or woke up and whatever. You said, name I feel like the first person Allison. to play this role twice. Cutie. They call me Cutie. Just kidding. Cutie. You can write it down on the character sheet. Okay. Yeah. Just scowl that <laughs> in your mall. <laughs> yeah. Cutie. Yeah. Uh, uh, responsible, for, Allison, of course, responsible for the funniest moment at Heroes and Halfwits ever. Um, yeah, and then you you, you all kind of started to get to, oh, you went off with Jivaj, too. He, yeah. He's going to you help kind of fix your brain a he's little bit more. He's going to fix my broken thing. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, um, I hope he doesn't change you. Like, I hope we still get... Albus back. We still got the Albus yes. experience. The, yeah. the Albus we know we hate. I'm pretty, pretty unfiltered as it is. <laughs> so, um, okay. <clears throat> and you guys, th- this building represents the tenement building that you guys are inside. Oh. Naturally. Just it's much bigger. Everything. It's actually an L shape. There's a wing that goes off. Where's the rest way. of it? Yeah. Well, um, it's in your imagination. So, Damn, yeah. he got you there. That's where it's like uh, magic. <laughs> you go inside. Half of it's in, the, in your imagination, <laughs> yeah. the other half of it's here. Yeah. Just imagine all the things you're going to spend that money <laughs> on. Money's in the banana stand. <laughs> like he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> he's smiling? You're smiling. Oh. But your words aren't smiling. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotten used to it. That means he's getting better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'll take how much XP? So you are you've already gotten XP. Damn it. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit. You got you guys got lots of XP. That's a good thought thought work. No, actually Last I only time. have twelve thousand. I said you were gonna give us twenty. No, no, he said he's gonna get us two twenty, so oh. you'd have to give us oh, eight. Oh, sorry, eight. sorry, I'm misquoting you. Anyway, all right, so that's where we're at, and you guys get some stuff. Yay! Oh, we stuff. Yeah. He's fucking yeah. physical stuff. Oh. You get arms. Stuff's awesome. Well, she gets arms. You get a fixed brain. Uh, Borealis got a heart. What did you get? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 got, you got something. I got my weapon silvered. Well, there you go. That's what you got. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll start with Borealis then. So, yeah, you got your weapon silvered. But then he, um, one of the uh, constructs comes up to you and says, Damn, it felt like um, my my master. This is a this isn't Jivaj. It's another one. But um, my master uh, instructed that uh, you might be interested in a special weapon that we have. Ooh, I do um, like weapons. So, um, it, it uh, two other constructs carry out this um, 
battle axe. Oh no, sorry, a great axe. Okay. It's a double bladed axe. It has um, it has a a uh, grip of some dark metal or. Sorry, the haft is dark metal, and it's wrapped with a, a fine leather grip, okay. and the blades um, shine with uh, with uh, holy light. Ooh. So the um, the Fucking contract tells weapon. you mm. um, this is the legendary great axe Dissever, um, <clears throat> infamous for its ability to cut down wave after wave of enemies. Um, How do you spell Dissever real fast? D I S S E V E R. I'm glad I asked because I would not have gotten that. Okay. And as I said, it shines with light. Can you use um, it? And the the uh, construct tells you. Um, well, okay. So the construct says you must meditate for an hour with uh, with this axe, uh, moving meditation. You practice like forms and whatnot, and it will attune to you, and you will be able to uh, mentally command the axe to um, shed light or not. And so, there you go. Thank you. you got All right. Some paper with it. <coughs> nice. Yeah. That's it's it's like it's Carfax report. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I didn't know it's we only had that. three owners. We're yeah. those now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh for Albus, um Givaj takes you off to a, a separate room and <clears throat> he uh, instructs you to have a seat and he begins a magic ritual. Um after about half an hour of him um muttering and encanting words of power, you start to hallucinate. And um, you're no longer in this room. You find yourself floating in space. And <clears throat> you start to see a vision of this um, place with no light, but um, you can see very clearly that there are faraway stars and uh, moons, and you feel like a sense of homecoming in a way. You feel like you've been here before. Um, and in fact, you start to realize that you've had an entire life before you have ever had a physical body. And <clears throat> um, after a moment, you start to rem- uh, memories start to come to you of this this non corporeal existence that you've had. So your intelligence score increases by four. What? Damn. <clears throat> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. What do you have? What, what do you have? Ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a twelve. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm a plus one now. So Albus just got one. his GED. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm ready and for you realize uh, now you understand why your mind felt so. You felt very discombobulated when your familiar went away. Um, you realize that part of your mind resides in your familiar. And uh, so, once you you eventually come out of this trance, and Jivaj says, Very good! I'm glad to see the operation went well without any hiccups. Why was he, why is he zipping his pants up? Um, he doesn't have pants. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's a construct. He's a clock. So he's just flopping out all the time? <laughs> it's just a spring. Like was born you like unwind it. Yeah. There's, yeah. Like a, <laughs> there's like a... There's like a cuckoo clock. There's a mechanism. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> Special key. Not, not every NPC in this world is a pervert. Just, or are they? Just, not everyone like, that has a dick is a pervert. Okay. You're being I'm perverted out. by no, assuming that he's you, a pervert because he has a dick. Dude walking around with his junk just flapping around all the time. That's not perverted. That's how you planned it. That's construct uh. life. <laughs> Don't be alarmed by my sleep. My dick's dick. flopping around when I'm walking around. I'm not a, here's the thing. He's like a clock construct. Would we know if his dick was flopping around? It's true. Yeah. You may not know which part of him I is. can't it. identify his genitalia. So, yeah. It's like a pendulum. Uh, yeah. 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 <sighs> Moving on, um, so Jivaj has a staff with him, um, and he he uh, he tells you, um, my master has deemed fit to grant you a a weapon in your upcoming battles. Uh, may I present to you this staff of power? And um, he gives you a a quarter. It looks like a quarter staff. Uh, intri- intricately carved with runes, and he tells you this staff holds a limited amount of magic within it. So you may use it as a quarter staff, or you could use it to cast spells. But be warned, once the spells are cast, there's a chance that you won't get them back. No. But there's a chance that I will. 
Possibly, yes. But there's a chance that you won't. But there's a chance that I will. <laughs> there's also <laughs> that you won't. Long stick. Been wanting one of these for a while. Get the samples off the top shelf. <laughs> Uh, and you may actually have a better and, idea and what to do with Sam. And now you'll understand. <laughs> yeah. Now what I can actually is. test all these things. <laughs> so, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your staff of power. Power. Uh -huh. power. What does that mean? Ah, you so that means power. that um, you don't even have to roll weapon damage. Oh, like okay. Did you just make a Bruce amount. Leroy Thank reference? You. Yeah. Did I? You did. Have you seen that movie? I don't actually know what you're talking about. Wow. Wait, what was it again? Wait. Bruce Leroy? It would have been cooler if you had, though. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'll find a clip after be this. Cool. I might have actually. Cause there's a lot of stuff rattling around. Mid '80s. I don't even know why. <laughs> All right. Um, so Mogar, Yo, you get that's uh, me. A construct approaches Time you. Time to go, Gar. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Gar. Get out of there. I'm gonna Mogart and go. <laughs> Um, this construct approaches uh, holding a mithril scabbard. So mithril is a silvery elven metal, um, known for being lightweight yet incredibly strong, and um, pulls out of the scabbard a longsword <clears throat> that it uh, refers to as a moon blade. Um, this mystical longsword is coated in alchemical quicksilver and has been blessed by celestial lunar magic. Um, and the, it, it was worked on by a draconic uh, blacksmith, so there are draconic runes written on the blade. The construct oh. tells you that in moonlight, the runes draconic will glow. Phil. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard of his work. <laughs> so all the dragonborns yeah. talk about his mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, he's he's highly sought after as a blacksmith. Um, so this blade is keen edged and quite beautiful. What does um, keen edged mean? Very, very. It means smart. it smart. It knows a lot. That too. Okay. If you put a book in front of it, it'll chop it in half. Or an eyelash. You just drop it like a cartoon, and it would go. Boing. What's a cartoon? <laughs> yeah, that's. I can't help with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a so. well of cultural knowledge that we don't have time for today. But. Oh, Orma, with your strange. Orma's fucking weird stories. Um, so. The, the construct tells you that this blade uh, can channel the power of the moon to reveal shapeshifters uh, within your vicinity. Um, so That's who we're fighting. Okay, great. And then I'm going to use it to see if any of you fuckers are shapeshifters. Well, oh, I, so actually, before you can do that, um, just it. like with the sever, all of you have to spend uh, some time meditating with your items oh, and sure. becoming attuned to it so that you can use it eventually. Um, all right, so Orma, you oh go and meet with uh, the green alchemist. He he takes you to a room. <coughs> you're not sexually attracted to him, but um, okay. you probably don't remember that. But you're not into him. Shit, that's good. I don't remember that, and thank you for letting me know because I would try. No yeah. But he is a, a powerful, beautiful <laughs> man. That is a weird I would note. try. Shape shift into any form you See? desire. See, oh my god. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> in my mind. In my mind. Armor's looking for a for a Val Kilmer now. <laughs> <laughs> so I take chubby Val Kilmer. I'm not picky. Hmm. Okay. Whoever Val Kilmer is. Yeah. Whatever. Right. <laughs> I feel like that's something Ormer would do, <clears throat> say. Um well he takes you to a room and he uh, he uh begins a ritual. <laughs> So after this, this takes some time. Um, so he begins to, um, he cr he gathers all of the ritual items, um, smudge sticks, and <coughs> draws a circle of power on the floor and has instructs you to stand within it, and um, begins an invocation that you that causes you to feel sleepy and your R rupees. vision, <laughs> your vision <laughs> starts to. I've been there before too. <laughs> Your vision starts to uh, dim a little bit, um, but you're still conscious uh, as you begin, as your body starts to metamorphosize and you begin to grow two arms from under your normal set of arms. Um, and at the same time, you start to have a tingling sensation in your head as the green alchemist um, kind of rewires your brain so that you're able to use your two new appendages effectively. So. After an hour, you have two fully grown arms now, and you are um, you're starting to get proficient at using them. It's still taking a little bit to get used to it, but uh, he, he tells you that after a few days or so of like practicing, you'll be able to 
fight with these arms as effectively as your current ones. Okay. Um, all right, so. That's exciting. He, um, okay, yeah. And he also tells you that his, his uh, constructs are working on um, coating your maul in alchemical quicksilver and making it more powerful. Okay. It'd be um, great if instead of fighting with four arms, or am I just decide to use four shields from now on? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate tank. Um, Best offense is a good defense. Yep. <laughs> or like if Orma decided to go into like ribbon gymnastics or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally like, very impressive. Uh, yeah. I feel like she Life could also be a, re- like a really good sculptor now. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. She's got like pottery. The she could be doing like the ghost <laughs> thing on herself. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. She can, yeah, hold herself. <gasps> Damn. Speaking of doing things on yourself. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Just kidding. But, but that's what but I you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But I'll see you later. <laughs> Just kidding, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and he tells you that he'll uh, to help you practice using your new arms. Um, his constructs will also gr- give you two long swords, two magic long swords. Okay. Um, so that you can start to get more coordinated. Um, Fighting with multiple weapons. All right. So, so next, can she fight with like four one-handed weapons or two two-handed weapons? Yeah. Eventually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Does that mean she gets to make four attacks now? So could she fight with one two-handed weapon and two one-handed weapons? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All out. Seems like the <laughs> one-handed <laughs> weapons can only do like the flanks. Yeah, it's, it's weird. So. She could do like a whirling dervish. Or even like the yeah. two-handed weapons, like one has to attack that way and one has to attack that way. Like, right? Like, it, how do you... It's, if it's all forward, that's a problem. Right. Because, yeah, I don't know. The, See, you didn't, well, get the, I mean, you didn't get the mental training the for problem. four arms. Yeah. 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 This way. I mean, human it's all beings horizontal. Are got it. successfully okay. managed two arms, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And sometimes they would get in the way of each other. So four... Yeah. I mean, come on. Bugs manage lots of arms. That's mm-hmm. true. But they don't carry weapons. They usually don't switch Sometimes. Swords. Sometimes. Yeah. But no, if it's, it's all horizontal, <laughs> you're good. Like, as long as it's all yeah. going... You've never seen right. an ant carrying like, a little sword? No. <laughs> like, you couldn't Weird. swing this way and then have these arms go that way, though, because that would just yeah, snap you could if fine. They were... <laughs> we gotta, In, uh, you swing with more Woody than Allen just your arms. That's right? true. Woody yeah. Allen was an ant? Yeah. 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 You're right. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, who is the guy? Yeah, so him? to answer your question, Dave Foley? Yeah, Dave exactly. Foley? He was an Was it Dave Foley? Yeah. It was, right? Orma can't necessarily get uh, like all of her body weight into each, into like all all the arms, sure. wielding weapons. So in game terms, you don't get four attacks around uh, unless all you do is just attack that round. Um, right. So, so normally move. you get an attack or a move. Yeah, right. right so right. if you forego your movement, you can get four attacks. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, if you move and attack, you only get three. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Okay. Still pretty good. She could win the hell out of a slap fight. Though. And then she, yeah. does the, she does the rage thing. It's like fourteen attacks. Yeah, yeah. No, no, she doesn't get extra attacks for raging. She gets she like ten gets times the damage. More damage. But yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm just so, gonna put if anyone wants right to fight Borma, do it now before. I'm good. Bo Jingles is gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dead. So. They're um, joking you. More you arms really for hugging. Once That's Orma right. Orma's back, you like, can you get you, you, you can ripped apart with four pick, arms. Picking him up off the ground and punching him at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like two hands kind of suspended in the air, and the other yeah, two arms. Can't are <laughs> wait until that happens. What a great suggestion. You can work the body and the dick. Ooh, like jerk like, him off like, and punch him. Where this is going? Uh-huh. No, yeah, that's thinking, like, easy. Yeah, that was confusing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, punching the dick. Yeah. Okay. No, <laughs> you're, when you say work the dick, it's like I see, it didn't work as well. Is that like a weird kind <laughs> of torture? Work the body though? and work the dick like, does sound very different. What if thing. one hand's jerking off, but three hands are punching? Do <laughs> yeah. you grow to like it? Do you I like don't know. It? That's got to be some kind of weird. No judgment. If you that's going down like autoerotic is is fixed. What is it? Asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. There you go. There you go. I got it. Oh, you could totally choke yourself and be jerking off at the same oh. time. Choke the shit out of yourself. Yeah. And give a massage. <laughs> <laughs> what we're saying is uh, we have a lot of options. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I'm excited about it. Yeah. So, uh, Jivaj comes out after a little while and um, he approaches you, Bo Jingles, and um, he says, My master has granted fit to uh, create. A special loot for you, Bob. Oh, you're, you're getting, thank you. You're actually getting loot. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
Loot me up. Come on. <laughs> All right. Loot so me up. He presents That's you with phone. this exquisite yeah. instrument. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to write down loot. Okay. And then I wrote it down. And, and he, he says, this is a Caledonian loot. Caledonian. Ooh, Caledonian. It is carved from an ancient elven blood oak, and mm-hmm. the strings and frets are made with Batorian green steel. Yes, I recognize that. Ah, good, good, <laughs> good. So, oh yes, God. this instrument contains magic that you can use to uh, defeat your enemies. Mm. What's the magic? Uh, well, <laughs> I will tell you <laughs> shortly. Uh, <fuck. laughs> Also, when you play songs with this and cast spells that can possibly charm your audience, uh, you'll be more potent with that. Yeah, because I so. have this spell. There you go. All right. Uh, I can do all these new spells now. These are brand new spells. So each one counts as uh, yeah. You can, but you can only cast it once per day. Eat. So you have to check check off. I can cast each one of these once a day in addition to all my other normal spells. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, um, I wrote win but, at the oh. top of my paper. You wrote what? I wrote win. Nice. Like winner. I'm the winner. That's, that's your goal. Win. <laughs> so, when you use the loot, you, uh, ha- it requires both hands to play, so you can't wield any other weapons and whatnot. So it's be, the only weapon I need. That's true. You can still use your loot as a spell casting focus, so you can cast all of your other spells while playing it as well. You just can't wield weapons or sh- hold a shield. Not that you ever hold shields, but okay. So um, you use the loot as a shield since it's uh, <laughs> it won't last very steel? long. But no, no, no. Well, the strings are steel and the frets oh, are steel, but the gotcha. bodies would. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. These the spells you gave me are kind of useless. Well, you're a bard, so I mean, you're fucking used to that by now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm the MVP of this party. Wait, sure. do you still have? So wait, do you still have dissonant whisper? I do. Oh, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> you're set. <laughs> All right, so with that, um, oh, you would get s- silvering weapons, right? Yeah, uh, yours, bitch. Oh yes, yep. I, I can wanna, silver your rapier. I'm, I want a gold. Can I get gold? Right, careful. Oh, you want to have your rapier gilded? Oh, I'm more of a more of a goldy kind of guy. I yes, we could do that. Just gotta write down gold rapier. Sure, that's totally. We'll just get right on that then. <laughs> oh my god! Dink. You're gonna get laid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you lift it? Or? I think you're just gonna roll strong. into the town and be like, hey, you want to <laughs> Check this out. Not strongest. What's your strength? Uh, 28. No. Oh, wow, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's really Sorry, I, I added minus. 20. Gotcha, so <laughs> minus one. Yeah, my pickup line could be my sword isn't the only thing made from gold. Well, <laughs> his pickup line would be I can't pick this up; it's too heavy. <laughs> my pickup line would be Could you help me? We're <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, really looking for someone with four hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she could do it with one. Yeah. <laughs> like one good hand is like fucking twenty strength. All right, so, so let's kill the. All right. What are we doing? So uh, the uh, the uh, get, fridge, you the kill the kids? Is that, no. They're 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 going to be returned home. And you're losing me. I got corn. this moon blade, man. I want to chop some light into somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so, Corin, uh, who's the female dragonborn that you rescued, she says that she'll escort the children back yeah. to the their homes and ja- children homes. escorts. <laughs> this is so weird. So, um, okay. So, Stony Kill says that he'll go with Corin. Okay. And um, he wants to catch up with her as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff reveals himself as the true bad guy. <laughs> what was that? Pretty nefarious chuckle. It's him, uh, it's him reading something. Yeah, he's reading his spell list. Some of these spells are pretty cool. Oh, now yeah, they're cool. Oh, the ones, should, the, the useless spells that he's done. Yeah, yeah. Not in here, though. <laughs> Remember last time he did a spell in here? And then. Yeah, Warma almost fucking killed him. Now she's got the green alchemist almost killed him. <laughs> he. Oh, keeping in mind too, any of the spells cast through these items still have wild magic potentially. Good thing I don't have any fucking spells. <laughs> um. Oh, and Orma, you get two long swords that are shit plus one. I don't. Yeah, you'll probably have to okay. write it on a. Well, no, I am writing very small and neatly. Okay. You is my, is so my much shit new gold rapier doing anything different? <laughs> yeah. So um, Minus he is able to pickles. enchant oh, yeah, it. Is. And you get so. plus one on your uh, attack rolls and damage dice with the rapier. Which you in addition. All right. Yes. Huh? What? what? What plus is yours? Your axe. One. That's plus one. Yeah. I mean, it's moon blading. Fuck it. Right. This double loot. Fucking plus I mean. three. Oh, Damn. Damage and attack. Frank, fucking hook me up. I, I mean, the, the gods. 
You're gonna be fucking killing some oh, that one. shapeshifter. No, where to go? Dude, oh yeah, and I have fucking bo- on a bonus action, not even a fucking spell, 1d10 of radiant damage. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Once a day, or how often? <laughs> just, it's just All the fucking time? sword. Wow. That's good. Action. That's real good. It doesn't say. Did you see this one anything. too? Um, All right. All the time. That one's constant. That can be a really. Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm okay. just going through. Two d8 plus 18 damage. Is it a secret? Can it be? <laughs> Frank. Uh, yes. Meta game. This. This. Um, Do you have to? The bonus action no. I have on the uh, the sword. Mm-hmm. Does that cost anything, or that's just a bonus action? It's just a bonus you action. Could do that a million times a day. Uh. Well. Yeah. So you get you get one bonus action every <laughs> round when you're in yeah. combat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Cool. Sweet. Mm-hmm. And um, and and so Albus, I wrote, mm-hmm. I created those squares to just mark off like charges that you I spend. Gotcha. So, Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's handy. Okay. Very handy. Yes. I just right, outed cool. myself as um, a nerd too. Okay. Yeah. So I, nobody knows. Yeah. So Soren, Soren, Corin, and Stony kill Sam, and the other prisoners leave, and um, the bye. Green, Bye. The kids. Well, actually, the kids are still a little traumatized. Yeah, but they should be traumatized. Slash. Thanks for saving they're, us. They're, they're a little they're, traumatized. They're a lot alive. Yep. Mm. They are. They are that. Um, are you back in your armor? Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, so uh, the Green Alchemist says that you can stay here. He 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 feels like he can trust you guys a little bit more now. Um, so you, you're welcome. <laughs> Why? To you. To uh, <laughs> well, you 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 did a you did a great ah, deed yeah, we're great. getting rid of this this doom. Cult. Thanks, Greeny. I don't want to talk you out of it, but Thanks yeah, for right. letting <laughs> us stay here. We'll just, we'll you're go you're welcome. I feel like uh, uh you hmm, you're no, go ahead. I was just gonna say like a long rest is. Oh uh, yeah, well yeah, I, chill for I, a bit. I, I, yes, uh, I I've set, I've provided rooms for you, your accommodations, so that you may uh, rest and recuperate from your adventures. And um, food and drink will be readily available to you as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so with that, some time passes. You guys rest up. <clears throat> um, that's actually Giovage. That's that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of go into a montage mode here. Travelers, I come bearing the gifts of Blue Apron. This episode of Heroes and Halfwits is brought to you by Blue Apron. I love Blue Apron. It makes cooking hassle-free and easy. I don't have to worry about finding time to go to the grocery store. Everything is delivered right to your door. Their meals are delicious and their recipes are easy to follow. For less than $10 per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-proportioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. Recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. Some upcoming meals include soy glazed pork, skillet vegetable chili, and garlic butter shrimp. Mmm. Last week, I made a delicious meal for my son, and it was so tasty. Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every ingredient in your delivery arrives ready to cook, and or they'll make it right. Customize your recipes each week based on your preferences. Blue Apron has several delivery options so you can choose what fits your needs. And there's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them. Blue Apron knows you're busy, so they, they are now offering 30-minute meals. These meals are made with the same flavor and farm-fresh ingredients you know and love and are ready in 30 minutes or less. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash halfwits. That's blueapron.com slash halfwits. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. All right. Okay, cool. So, um, so a month passes. And during that time, um, you guys start to uh, become more... So, Alisar comes to you and tells you that she is rebuilding the spy network. And she, uh, she also introduces you to the Rishis, who are the uh, insurrectionist movement here in Jackalheart. Um, they're leading an underground resistance against the Rajah's despotic regime. And they have planned out some missions to hit various parts of the city... Um, to weaken the the uh, Cargan, who are the state police here, um, and you remember at one point you fought that guy Tyvo, who yeah. had been pretending to be yeah that um, fucker yeah exactly. So he is one of the he was one of the elite officers in the Cargan. He was what's known as a, Z- a Zetetic, who are like the psychic thought police that can um, that have various magic powers and they terrorize the citizenry. 
Um, so one of the uh, the Rishis are planning to hit one of their um, their bases within the city. However, <clears throat> a couple days later, your plans are thrown into uh, chaos when uh, word has spread that a mass uh, a, 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 a sequence of mass arrests have been enacted by the Rajah's forces. Um, Look at it. Nearly, over the next few days, you learn that almost half of the citizens in the Jack Hart slums have been rounded up and taken to a concentration camp. So the, the city is built uh, on a mountain, and the, the lower slopes of the mountains are where um, you guys mainly are in the slums. <clears throat> um, but the higher up you go, the nicer the area is. Uh, so underneath the mountain, rumors have been spreading for some time that uh, the, the mountain has been like the sort, one of the main sources of, of income for the city. So there's gold and various uh, precious ores. But recently there have been rumors that something else has been found underneath the mountain. And it seems that these, um, these arrests are to basically create a, a labor force for the Raja to start mining whatever this is out of the mountain. Um, so, so a few days later, the Rishis uh, come to you, and they they have um, started new plans to try to stop this. Um, in one of the meetings, you meet a man named Chandra Naran, and um, they introduce you to him and tell you that he was the one of the um, police chiefs in the city, and uh, who has now defected after seeing the uh, terrible treatment of the people. Um, and so, are you talking like openly defected or like secret double agent defected? Uh, openly. Okay. So more and more of the <coughs> officers from the the Mugadin and the Kargan are starting to defect over, and um, he uh, after after uh, some conversations with him, you realize that he was one of the um, the former captain of the ghosts that you met while you were traveling mm -hmm. through the Jothi mm -hmm. caves. And I remember them yeah. ghosts. Yeah, we remember yeah. them ghosts. Mm. And so. You had the synaculums of Palas, Nihar, uh, Sergeant Joshi, and Lieutenant Sobersani, who are the ghosts that you found. And when you return the synaculums, he's very moved and thanks you for, be, for um, solving a mystery that had long befuddled him. Um, and you explained the, the fates of, of his uh, former officers. Um, Plus a million experience? <laughs> well, you do gain some lot. experience. Um, like so he, yeah. he, he uh, dedicates like a memorial to mystery. his to his uh, former um, uh, uh, teammates and buries the synaculums, um, thus freeing their spirits. And for a moment during the memorial, you see the four spirits appear overhead before they, they ascend to heaven. Like the end of Star uh, Wars. Yeah, it was during a rousing Ewok musical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump. <laughs> jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, the, each of the party members earned 6,000 XP for crew. Whoa! Oh. Damn, dude. Holy hell. That's like a number we throw out as a joke. 6,000? <laughs> because Frank felt like it? Month. It's been a month. Yeah, but we're getting XP been for something we that, did before We've been solving month. that thing since season one. I mean, you have, have yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hell of a side quest. Holy crap! What was so? What was um, what, what was level six? Borealis nearly oh, died it, getting it, one of the synaculums. That was fourteen thousand. Uh, I think it was. What was yeah. level we all, six? We all six thousand. No, what oh, was level for, six? Oh, for level six. I think we all level six What's was level fourteen thousand. Seven. Level seven is twenty three thousand. Jeez. Ways okay. to go for that So one. we're at 18,000 uh, now? Yeah. yeah. So we leveled. We're, we're yeah, less we than the level. Correct. 18,000 is greater than 14,000. But, but be astute. also less than 23,000. Yes. <laughs> Any other side quests oh, yeah. you can turn in? <laughs> um, so, well, there, <clears throat> some other stuff will happen, but I'll let you guys Oh, you said an extra 5,000? So now <laughs> two <laughs> levels? Oh, in uh, one go? I'll let you guys update I wasn't ready for this. Yeah. Is there anything to do with this level six? This is fun. Uh, you get aura <laughs> of protection. This is fun. <laughs> Fill me in, guys. Uh, anybody Let me know, brother. standing within ten feet of you gets saving throw bonus equal to plus your charisma modifier. Dude, what's your charisma so zero. modifier? Zero. So minimum <laughs> plus one. Okay. So All anyone right. within ten feet of you gets a plus like, one. Is to that the, like the an? It's just like an it's active always, trait. Yeah. Nice. Pass, is it, what is that? Wait, called? I just stand next to you and I get plus one to. Not even throw? next to me, my yeah. friend. Within ten feet. Wow. You could stand got, one square plus, away from I got me. plus two. Does that stack? No. <laughs> I, just, I uh, can't stand in like the overlap of the Venn diagram no. of you two. Uh, so or a protect. Learn another spell. I'm gonna write it down. Thanks, Paladin buddy. Mm-hmm. 
Third level spell. I need to do that. Fucking Christ. Are we supposed to level up right now? Yes. Is that all we got? You'll probably need to pick, right? Uh, oh. No, no, that's it. Well, when's the next point thing? The next, like, ability point or no, like, yeah, yeah, proficiency yeah. bonus? Yeah, when you can add them to whatever you want. Oh, that's level eight. Eight, okay. Yeah. I know that was coming up. I think I also, my <clears throat> breath attack does something, but I don't think that's to level eight as well. Oh, that, you need to, um, that ore protection oh, great, thank you. Yeah. Uh, also applies to you. Who is you? You, yourself. I'm oh, not okay. Sweet. So I have a permanent. You should, yeah. Plus I one. Yeah, plus you'll, yeah. you'll probably get throw. some new ability. Any saving throw? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You've transcended. Do you? I forget, Frank, because it hasn't happened to me yet. Are there any house rules if you roll a one on your uh, hit dice? Oh yeah, you can re-roll. Okay, thank you. But you have to take this. Oh right, we have to do that. I forgot. So. Right there. Much better. Wait, you can re-roll if you get a one. Yeah. Okay. What'd you get? Nine. Holy shit, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's much much better. I'll one. take it. Six. I'm not complaining. Cool. I'll take a six, my friend. I what do you my, you might have more health than me now. I'm at 55. Oh, okay, for the 51. hit points. Yeah. Okay. And then you add your constitution modifier. Which is zero. Oh, but okay. All right. I'd rather have one more than roll. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what I would have gotten. 51. Dude, 51's great for my Fuck AC. Off. My AC is fantastic. <laughs> I fucking love it. I love never. Oh, oh, it's so I, you've yeah. had so many Frank's bad balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's your AC? 19. Damn. Can I multi-class and become a sorcerer? Yeah, yours sucks. You probably should. You probably Dang. have the worst AC at the table. This doesn't you've got seem like I'm going so anywhere. Third level like I yeah. really am just it, like... Yeah. This Part of it is because yeah. you have such a Hitting low um, dexterity. Yeah. Basically. I mean, I don't use the dex or anything. Griffin so, has lamented. Right, I guess Warlocks are supposed to be... Um, they have like I got casting, 17, but, but then yeah. they're supposed to be able yeah. to be a little bit of a physical like attack. get in there and swing it or or fire like long range weapons. Yeah, but you have to rely on your dexterity to do that, and yours is low. So, but yeah, sorcerer might be a good way to go because you start it's to get also, more spells. It's also a charisma based. So That's casting. right. Yeah. Travelers, how are you feeling in your clothes today? Let me tell you about Mac Weldon. This episode of Heroes and Halfwits is brought to you by Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon is better than whatever you're wearing right now. Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Their website is super easy to navigate, and they have great products. Mac Weldon will be the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants that you will ever wear. They have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, so they eliminate odor. It's better than Mithril. They want you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they will still refund you. No questions asked. Not only does Mac Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirts look good, they perform well, too. They're great for working out, going to work, or going on dates, and overall, everyday life. Go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code HALFWITS. That's MacWeldon.com with promo code HALFWITS to get 20% off. Ooh. So, uh, inside the Green Alchemist Fabrication Chamber... Oh, shit, chamber, we got a thing for that thing, oh, finally? Oh, look Is that at the that. car thing we're talking about? <laughs> That's our tank. Courtesy of Allison here. Nice work. Oh, shit. You conjured that? Can you that? see that? Here, actually. Well done. I conjured Let it. Let me see yeah. if I From can... From the craft store. <laughs> Map. You're From talented. Michaels. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> it's not a compliment, but... Oh. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> talented. Ugh. It was actually an insult. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Gross. You can do things. Ugh, Ugh, crafts. Fucking brag about it. Damn. You're so upwardly mobile with your crafts. <laughs> you look at that. I mean, taking over the Dude, world. Can you just imagine Borealis right yeah. on top of that thing. Uh, imagine Borealis in it. Fucking, fucking shit up. Ooh. Okay. Smooth. I'm glad that they were on you Thanks. when you right. did that. <laughs> got like steam coming out of yeah, the saw. butt pipe. Oh, that's that's what that is. Yeah. I knew. Yeah. I I got it. I nailed it. Okay. By the way. Thank you. Yeah, I understood. I was worried. I clocked it. No, no, we I got you. I like the little Spiral. accent right there. Yeah, oh, that, that was nice. the last minute addition. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It plays well. She added that for you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that's more of a sounds. Like, <laughs> yeah. There. Can we get a shot of it now that we have the lighter background? So hopefully people. I wanted to see the accent. Can we get a shot of it uh, destroying the building, Powerpuff Girls style? <laughs> and then uh, the girls are called in, save the day naturally. <laughs> no. All right. 
<laughs> no one if has saved were, Townsville. It's if destroyed. you were a Powerpuff Girl, which one would you be? Butter, Buttercup, easily. Buttercup. No question. That makes total sense. What was the other one's name? Blossom. Bubble. Blossom. Oh. Uh, I'm totally trying to bubble. think of the order. Uh, uh, I know it's Blossom, Commander, Oops. and the leader. It bubbles. She is the joy and the laughter. Buttercup, and she's the toughest fighter. Powerpuff, save the day. <laughs> yep. Uh, Got it. Nailed it. Nice. That's whole sections of your brain that can't be devoted to anything else. That's fine. You don't know math now. Yeah, math. I'm good with everything else. Actually, as as highlighted on uh, Trivial Pursuit yesterday. Mm. <laughs> hey, that's a fun game. Equators. Right. What's north of what? I don't, who cares? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So um, Frank's ready, baby. I'm ready. So you, you guys <laughs> uh, get trained in how to operate part. this the, the apparatus. Who gets uh, trained the best? Of Qualish. Um, we all drive it equally, or is there like a commander? How does this thing do, work? Uh, is that like a megazord? Like there's a head and there's arms, or is it just one person? No, it's yeah, there's, there's a person, whole so. bank of levers. So there's actually oh. ten levers. Oh, um, but there's only five of us. Like two arms. Well, 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 so four though. Uh, she can take somebody's spot. Yeah. It's like this. That's oh, true. The, the four arms really makes her operate too. That's uh, we got uh, somebody. Yeah. We, got, we got we got Father Dory. We got Quark. We got. Let's make them do it. Giovage, I bet he could hop in he's there. He's not coming with us, is he? Well, no, he's not, yeah. Oh, I can't leave. He would I, say. I assume he's like the owner. <laughs> of the thing. Well, tell us. <laughs> he, he's the one training you guys, but he, he's not going to go with you guys on All right, whatever well, you lame. Damn. Um, <laughs> I only have but 11 intelligence, though, so... Only yeah. have 11? You might be yeah, one of the smartest people here. Are you kidding well, me? Well, I have well, fucking six, lady. <laughs> 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 so let's do intelligence yeah. rolls. Everyone roll d20 okay. and add or subtract whatever your intelligence Well, let's oh, get oh, yeah, 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 Finally! Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, man. We're all really happy for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's adding to a two, so... I got, I got a uh, 12. Good. Oh, okay. Seven. One. One. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. My God. expanded uh, mentality has uh, has come back. Plus my proficiency my... bonus. Uh, your intelligence modifier. Not I think I overthought it. Plus my proficiency bonus. Uh, six. Is the dot is uh, eleven. Oh, you're wow. the smartest right, in here. All right, so Borealis. He, oh, wait, what'd you get? Twelve. Oh. All right. <laughs> Fucking check out the brains on that, Borealis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Borealis. destined to be yours. Yeah. I'm glad right. you got it. Yeah. I'd be kind of I, fucking furious if this guy got it. <laughs> I might have broken it. You, oh. Uh, no, if he got it. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Just doing no, He would fucking set it on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, Borealis, you, you learn very quickly how to operate hey. this. Um, Man, you good learner. Yeah, of course. It's that pure human blood. <laughs> I was going to say it's all that racism, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense, so I won't say it. I, I, I got it. I got you. So, uh, so Givage teaches you how to manipulate the levers so that you can um, go there. So there's the stealth mode where it just looks like a big barrel, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a few notes here. <clears throat> and uh, okay. There's another mode, the trident mode, Ooh. where um, this this uh, vehicle is designed so that you can go underwater, and um, in trident mode, it acts like a submarine, and it can. Zip through the water very quickly. Okay. You could be uh, amphibious. How many people can fit in this thing? Uh, up to uh, exactly the number that we need. <laughs> up to twelve people. Oh, we're good. Yeah. We're good. That's uh, that's I think our party. Is Eleven <laughs> or twelve. Are we bringing the kids with us? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, let's see. Your, your extended party, by the way, is it is pretty big, but not everyone would go with you on these missions. So, like. Alisar is now basically one of the um, main leaders in the Rishi movement. So she's like top level. She's coordinating attacks sure. and activity. Um, the, what was her name? The woman nah. that you rescued from, no, no, no. The, uh, well, there's Na's mother. So she's helping out also. Um, but she's like kind of like doing like strikes against various uh Cargan officers. I mean, like why that. not when you have a hundred thousand yeah. health? She, yeah. You know? She's pretty badass. <laughs> like a uh, hundred and fifty <laughs> health. You should be out punching people, not in a <laughs> fucking crab thing. And uh but then there's that lady that you guys saved from the Doomer gaming house. Sure. And oh, I forgot about her. Is that? Where is she? uh she just Kathy? Like, Who did we say? I don't remember what, I don't remember what <laughs> Probably her name wasn't was. Kathy. 
Like, I'm sure no, Griffin wrote she, it down. She hates <laughs> Mondays. I don't. Remember? She I said, didn't say you could find it. I just said, eh, I'm sure you wrote it down. Chocolate. <laughs> she said she hates the Raja and Mondays. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. We're still working with the insurrection. Yeah, I heard that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, so uh, at and one, uh, so now two weeks after you guys got back to Jackal Heart, now um, you are this asked, is before the month. Before the month okay, is over. Okay. We're yeah, we're just kind of like okay, going over. We're what, all over the place. What happened during the month? Ended in 2010. Are you serious? Yeah. What was the last episode? Hmm. I'm looking. <laughs> Kathy died of cancer. <laughs> Diabetes. Ooh. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. See. Mm. So there's a, oh my God. a uh, <laughs> one of the nobles up there is a uh, the, the rishis think that he's got no he's the rishis think that he is one of the um, key uh, coordinators of the Mugadin who are the the uh, army of Jackal Heart that he he um, provides intelligence to them and so they want you to find this guy and capture him and bring him back from interrogation yeah let's kill him um, so you capture. <laughs> You make it up to his uh, villa uh, in the dead of night, and as you enter the room, so you guys can go and place yourselves uh, coming in from from this direction. All right, I, I'll, um, I'll be up front. I'll place everybody. I'm in, I'm in the lobster. Front. Yeah, I'll be up front. Uh, no, you don't. You don't have the lobster for this one, Damn unfortunately. Logar, you said you I wanted to be. Why the Trident fuck Mark? is Dory <laughs> up front? I don't know why they're doing literally this. gonna kill us all. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're you're, you're really like shuffling it around. You know, what are you doing? Idiot. I'm placing everybody. Listen, he doesn't want the enemies to know where we are. Yeah, it just keeps moving them. Yeah, I forget that uh, normally I'm the one who does this. It's, yeah. uh, it's very planning. frustrating to watch what, someone else do it. The hell is it I'm called? not even in a square. What's going on? Three, Three card money. There. Three but, card money. But like with seven. What is NPCs? happening? Yeah, <laughs> it's bullshit because it, they'll take your money. Yeah, it is bullshit. It's a, like a magic what trick. What they do? Sleight of hand. Yeah. You'll never pick right. which ball it is. So right? Unless they want you. You come in and you see that You come this, in like uh, that head first on the table? Man has, oh, he's uh, there. yeah, he's he's lying on the table. Uh, and his his belly has been cut open from Oh, stern shit. Yeah. Him. Was and it the leprechaun looking for his gold? What? He ripped it out of the guy's stomach. Yeah. Leprechaun 1. Oh. Oh, oh I never saw those movies. Is that the one with Jennifer Aniston? It is. Yep. Mm. Oh, Little Jennifer Aniston. She was not good. Did oh. not do a good job. Wow. The Leprechaun was but great, she was, though. Like, Full probably of 14 he was killing. Yeah. Collecting gold. Yeah. He wow. sold it. All right. Okay. <laughs> so this so, guy split open. And standing over the body doing the splitting is. He's a fucking leprechaun. Uh, you recognize. Uh, is the horrific form of Sanji. Ah, shit. Fucking oh. hell, this bitch is back? <clears throat> Jesus. If we had finished her off before, God. this guy would still be alive. Kinda. You know, if we Lady killed her the trouble. second we, we kind of had a like thing for a while, she got a little clingy. Tried to kill the whole party, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. <laughs> didn't she, <laughs> didn't she, didn't she get handle, away uh, with the orb thing? She did. Or whatever? She yes, in fact, she has the orb well. with her right now. Hey, drop that orb, lady! My orb! I'll Point. It's mine. I'm pretty sure I We've gained a few anymore. levels and some abilities, it, and we're gonna we're kill you now. Oh well, I've gained a few abilities too. Uh, and she holds up the orb, and, and it starts to glow pants. green. Uh, everyone, roll initiative. Roll initiative. She cast. Fart. I, I, I wish she did her pants. Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Also, Actually, no you probably couldn't even tell that she did because she just tackle. stinks. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Probably has already. Um, she, she may have. Bojingles rolled a six. It's, uh, She's looking good. It's uh, your <laughs> looking much better than she used to. Plus eight. She's yeah. aged well. Oh, really? Not yeah. just initiative? Borealis oh, well. it's initiative. Never mind. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. Okay. I remember being I'm hotter, done. but now she has these giant man hands. You're not. You're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not weird. Even, I'm still stupid. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. I'll take it on the upper half. Oh, that reminds me. I'll tell you later. All right. Thinking of the uh, Albus and Orma. Six. And eleven. <gasps> I'm not gonna say anything to him. Oh. Put the table okay. right now. Roll off with Albus and Mogar. Shut up. No, just you roll off. Why not? It's so exciting. You got a two, and I got a four. Four. Jesus Christ! Thank God that was a roll off. All right. I really tried the uh, Orma, you said you got a yeah. six, right? We, uh, we didn't deliver. Oh, yes, Orma and Bojingles Lord. roll off. Roll off! Da, 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 da. Get better than a two and a four. Da, 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 da. I, thought, I thought you were going to drop it on the floor. Instead, Ooh. you threw a hair on me. 
Oh. I think Orma wins that. That's not good. I got a one. 14. I'm sorry. Okay. Coming out. Cool. No, it's okay. Just keep All throwing right. it on me. It's pretty. I think your shirt's hilarious. Isn't it good? I like it. It's so good. <laughs> you may see my yes. awesome shirt. I can shirt. only see Very the dragon. Yeah. You want to front it to the camera? wizard. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Wizard. That is pretty cool. <laughs> the I first, fuck them, but I like them. The first to react is not. So, of uh, course. She runs in, misses she, like crazy. She totally <laughs> runs in. Oh. Alright, she fucking knocks uh, me over on the way. <laughs> She's so ah, excited! Fuck, bitch! I uh, say as she knocks me down. <laughs> no, no, no. Disadvantage. <laughs> You're on fire. Uh, I'm just fucking hitting him. I'm, hitting just home fuck, run. I'm just fucking hitting. I'm just fucking uh, hitting. double move. <laughs> You should be a baseball player. Nah, you are so Send quick out, to get in coach. there. <laughs> I'm fucking hitting today. But she can't do anything, so she'll be right there. That's good that she's in attack. Did the, did the green <laughs> alchemist give her a special hug or something so that she doesn't miss all the time? She, oh, you know what? He would have gilded or uh, silver. Gilded her fist. Not gilded her fist. Uh, he would have silvered some of her weapons. You got, you got a special But these hug. are her uh, weapons. Like, she can't hug. eat anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she has, like, you have to like, insert a spoon <laughs> or a fork. <laughs> oh, she just she pounds it into mush and then it was all about her. No, uh, she, she well, she has that. Game. She has the short bow, so she would have gotten some silvered arrows for that. And all right, yeah, yeah. okay. But um, golden crown. Actually, you know what? She wouldn't have moved here then, because she could have shot from a distance. So you're doing a take back from a distance. Yeah, you're right. Okay, fine. She's never mind. It's like a Once you let go of it, yes. <laughs> let go. Yeah. Lobby. She's going all right, right for that. <laughs> then it's Sanji's turn. Uh, so she holds the uh, orb aloft and whispers oh, man, some aloft, words. That's of, like up. Hideous yeah. power. The, and my loft is on the second floor in my who house. Who does she not like the most? I, I wonder. wonder. Clearly. No, it would have been like Borealis or Mogar. Yeah, hit me, you fucking old yeah. bitch. She's going to. I say. Actually, she'll go after both of you guys because you Bring make fun of her the most. Okay, so she, from the green orb, um, a uh, three, three scorching rays shoot scorching out. Scorching rays. Did you roll for health? <laughs> you shrug those off? Yeah. Why did you just... Uh, you hit like standing yeah. close okay. to a microwave. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a total aside. Did you have yeah. a spell called Protect from Law? Eight. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. We'll go over that okay. here That's in a little bit. Yeah, but it's like Protection from Evil, yeah. basically, but against um, sort of lawful supplies. creatures. Okay. Um, okay. A natural. I'm squinting at you. So I got a bunch of fucking spells. All right, so this is gonna be with spells plus. I got protect from evil Six. as well. Are you squinting at me? Against I got that. Oh. Uh, that's a twelve. No wait, there's odds here. Fifteen. No. Please. Okay. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> All right. Dude, she still sucks, huh? Oh, dude, nice dodge, bro, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> that's your new name for me. Bro, Alice. Bro, Alice. It's Mogar's new nickname for you. That's funny. <laughs> All right, second. <laughs> okay, <Brogar>. Rogar. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Twenty-two yes. probably hits. <laughs> um, so that's Everybody. Six it only took us like it. thirty-five episodes <laughs> yeah. to come up with that. Uh, four points of fire damage. Oh man, guys. watch out! And then uh, scorching ray at you, Mogar. Uh, oh, twenty-three. That actually hurt. Whoa. Wow, and for uh, 11 points of fire damage. I thought you said scorching ray wasn't bad. Uh, that four oh, wait, points. So you, don't, you only hit me with 11. Uh, 11, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sucks. But she has one last one, and that misses probably 12, so, yeah. yeah. Definitely okay. One. All right. Uh, so then, Still she... city. <laughs> you suck. She is going to... She just take 20% of your life. Uh, um, okay, yeah, that's What's what she 20%? does. In one attack. 20% is nothing. She's going... She can't... I can touch my... I can touch She'll that be back off. Is she flanked right with now. the corpse? What's your self touch up? No, twenty five. <laughs> the corpse actually, actually, actually take this back. Right? So thirty now, right? He's leveled up. barely yep. alive. Fucking he's 30. like I forgot making whimpering noises. And we're supposed to yeah. interrogate him. I only took eleven. That was the guy you were supposed to interrogate. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't what know. Are hands. Yeah. Anybody got a? Yeah, I'll we'll potion him up. All right. Up. Cork. Cork. Put your insides back in. He's going to move. Who knows? I it's a hell of a potion. I can cast mending. It does fix things. And he's going to fire a arrow. A uh, silvered arrow at Sanji, but misses. All right, uh, then it's Borealis. That's all Cork does? He's got like 400 spells. Thwing. Useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could heal up the there. guy. I'll, uh, oh well. close here. Let's see if I can get all that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> uh, not enough. I'll get closer. Yeah, move up, move uh, up. 10, 15. Can I stand there? Or is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, see. All right, I'll stand oh, there. And I can't okay. do anything else. Can you All right. Menace, sir. 
Mogar. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let me go. We have like a comic moment where you delimmer and then the orb just falls on her head. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> Shit, actually. Where was I? Here? Yeah. If I can make it over there in one turn. <clears throat> Five. Fifteen. Twenty. Yeah, I think I can actually. Okay. Five. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Five, then 15, 20, 25, 30. Fuck. Oh, you can move on the diagonal for that last one. Well, that's, I mean, I'm at 30, I think. You were there. If yeah. You go diagonally. You that oh, you're right. That? Yeah. Okay. The second, first diagonal. The, the second five. diagonal is 10. The first one's five. Yeah. Okay. Right, Someone over there. All right. Um, hey, hey, hey. What's up? Hey. That's what I'm saying to him. And hey, then I turn hey, and hey. I'm like, sup, bro, we Alice. <laughs> Let's get this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> hating this. Yeah, it's, it's, Strap it's, in, it's buddy. Turn. It's done. <laughs> um, the seed has been planted. I'm going to cast Hex as a bonus action on mm. her. Oh. <clears throat> saving throw? Uh, no, I don't think so. Make sure it's a bonus action. I'm no. pretty sure it is, <laughs> though. I'm, yeah, it's uh, necrotic damage whenever you hit it with an attack. Yeah. I think that's a bonus oh, action. Okay. Actually. And you can you can double move to get there. All right. Pretty easily. Like you got enough. Uh, also, you, you choose can double one ability when you cast okay. a spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with that chosen ability. Um, that's just like intelligence, strength, constitution, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, constitution. Constitution. Okay. And then I'm gonna fire my <coughs> double eldritch blast at it. All for right. <coughs> that's the best, man. A miss. <laughs> okay. Oh, unless. 12 hits. Um, <coughs> against her AC misses. 14. That'll hit. I mean, okay. 14 plus. 10, and go ahead and roll no, wild magic. Nine. Did he roll for the hex also? 11. Cool. Wait. Five. And you said, so the last, the last Eldritch Blast hit 14? Or well, it was 14. I rolled a 14 plus 10, so. Oh, 24. Yeah. That would have hit. Yeah, yeah. I assumed it hit. This was. Oh, okay, okay. Unless um, she's really squirrely. Well, no. I mean, she's kind of, so she's grown a little bit. Oh, you know, I Still, said like, spurt. person size, but uh, she's a woman. kind of a bigger person and really ugly. Nice. Um, deformed and whatnot. Uh, you still into it? And, uh. Jeff? I don't, I mean, I don't, I, it's not about, uh, Purely about physical appearance to me. Yeah, okay. you're a but, sexual, so something right? happens though when you cast oh, that Eldritch yeah. Blast. Mm -hmm. Yes. The second one, um, it streaks right at her. Uh, so you didn't see this last time that this happened, but the orb flashes a green light, and uh, your Eldritch Blast gets sucked into the orb. Shit. Uh, All right. Okay. She's anti magic. Yep. All right. Well, have fun, guys. Yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, saw here. that the last time when you were tied up on that rock and she yeah. wanted to sacrifice you. Um, yeah. So. All right. Yeah. She's a magic sucker. <laughs> well, the orb. Well, is. the orb is. Yeah. Uh, Orma. Hey guys, the orb sucks magic. I, I yeah, I saw. I saw that. Super pissed off right now. So. <laughs> I'm gonna rage over there. Oh, okay. So tell me about this diagonal. <coughs> so it's five What's the first not? time and okay. ten after that. Five. No, you could just 15. go straight over the table. <laughs> you can. You, I already, I already counted it out. You can make it regardless. Okay. And end up if you want, I can just put you. Okay. Like, yeah, blah, 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 and then you made it. Right yep, there. yep, yep. Kay. And then bonk with my magic. Yeah. Mall. Magic monk. Go. Magic mall. Go. And That's not bad. Nine, 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 17. That hits. Shoot, shoot. When she's raging, what is that? What does she get? 16 or 17. She gets Six. extra damage to her. If you, eight. If it, it's like, I think it's plus 13. two. Is that a hit or a miss? I think it's a hit. Okay, 13. It's equal. Points of damage? Yeah. You so then you add two to that for okay. your rage, so it's 15. Oh, yeah, okay, 15 then. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and then, um, yeah, and then she also gets extra movement and... Um, extra attack, right? Oh, well, yeah, now that you have four arms. Well, she already can attack you can twice with twice, rage, but now a third attack with your one of your extra. So arms. more attacks. Yes. Okay. So let's do, do that it. all over again. So fifteen let's points do, oh, damage. This one's not going to work. It's only a two, so that one's not going to be oh, good. Yeah. Unless she rolls for inspiration. Oh, ten. 
Okay. Well, she yeah. You do have she that. She has inspiration, though. Does she do. need it that okay. bad on this Nine. hit? Nine. That's what you so need. Eleven. That's when you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 19. Oh, 19? Okay. Meow. You used your inspiration? Well, you don't combine, you don't combine yeah. that. <laughs> so you Meowed don't? No, no, no. You pick oh, that two, instead. Two. So no, oh, yeah. So it's 17. 17. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good either. Six. <laughs> 14, no, 6, 11. Plus 2 for the raise. 13. 13, okay. And you have to get. Well, times 2. Oh, 26. <laughs> Plus 6. It's 32. 32, <laughs> yep. I, I'll take this. What is You that? do 32, right. 23, 26. Right, so okay. now you get your third attack. Okay. I actually, Jeff, I actually that... laughed and then I remembered. No, she actually had. Yeah, third she has a... <laughs> <laughs> That's. <coughs> That's only 15. So that misses. Misses. Yeah. All right. How do we know? Uh, because she's, she swings with one of her swords. She, like, ah. jabs him, uh, jabs at her, and uh, she steps out of the way. It's lots of uh, stabs. Not but yeah, your, your, your right. maul does hit her pretty well. And it does extra damage because it's silver. Uh, it does full damage because it's silver. <laughs> it would not have done full damage. Um, okay. So that was Orma. But yeah, uh, she's so her skin is really scaly now, and it seems to provide some some protection against. Well, we should get her in like a or something. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, Bo Jingles. Kind of cream. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm gonna. So these <laughs> shapeshifters, do I know if they're susceptible to? Do we know if they're susceptible to poison? Uh, you can make intelligence roll and try to determine. Is that what she is? A shapeshifter? Mm-hmm. Or she looked different uh, before? Yeah, she's not like... She's not like fucking warped by one. the power of the orb or 21. something. 21, wow. Because um, no, she didn't have Okay, so orb. yeah, no, you... They are susceptible yeah, to poison. Um, Has a real bad case of the. You would think, though, that oh, yeah. one Everyone. thing that yeah. she's probably <laughs> completely <laughs> immune to is yeah. any kind of charm effect. Yeah. Um, well, I, uh... I just... I assume that um, our magic is gonna be nigh useless. So I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna take my my attack action to shoot her with my crossbow with a bolt of uh, poison. Okay. I have a poison cartridge. All so right. that <coughs> is uh, crossbow light three stacks. What's my dexterity three? Sixteen, nineteen, nineteen hits. Hits. Um, is that proficiency bonus plus dex or just proficiency bonus? Uh, proficiency just... bonus plus dex. Oh yeah, that totally hits then. Uh, and then uh, I do d8 plus. I don't know what the poison. How the how to. So poison, poison is a saving throw, and then she if she fails, she okay. is at disadvantage. So that's three. Okay. Um, but plus I love, your dexterity plus my dex six. Okay. But I uh, can have two attacks now. He is surrounded. Yep. So right. I'm gonna hit her again. Okay. Uh, that doesn't hit. Uh, and as my bonus action, I am going to sing a song of combat inspiration okay. to Mogar. To Mogar. So okay. you get a D8 now to for add, attack, uh, or, attack damage. or damage. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the crossbow bolt hits her in the shoulder, and she lurches back a little bit, Ian, bar, and she bar, looks bar, at you bar. and says, <laughs> I thought we had a thing! <laughs> oh. How dare you! Uh, I say something really witty about relationships. <laughs> I don't have it in me. All right. Um, uh, does she make her saving throw? Oh, saving throw. So she that's does, gonna be, but she forgot. Uh, so that's on those crossbows, I think it was like 14 or something. Also, did you roll for witty? <sighs> you might have fallen short. <clears throat> that's about right. <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, what would I add to that? Performance, probably, uh, or persuasion? Negative four. That could just be straight up charisma, probably, right? No, I'll do performance or persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, oh, 29. I persuade her that she's made a terrible mistake and that she will never find happiness like me again. Okay. All right, so Pretty you solid. do that. Um, thankfully, thanks to your uh, putting her at a constitution disadvantage, <laughs> she's at disadvantage on this poison state. Hey! Um, so she fails, I think. No, she made it. Her other role was an 11, so 14. Okay, so she's not poisoned, but you, you tell her that, and um, she... We'll say she gets a wisdom saving throw, but... 16, 18, okay, so she's... 
She's a little pissed, but <laughs> not as much as you think from your comment. She's not swayed by your bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna write a Taylor Swift style song about her. Oh damn, dude! <laughs> All right, Father Dory. Uh, so is anyone badly injured right back. now? <laughs> Scratch her on the back with a knife. Scratch her on the back. Okay, so Father Dory <laughs> is going. Put her to in a burn book. I feel like y'all have really good Taylor Swift knowledge, and I don't. <laughs> so well, there's a few. I don't really understand it. Perry, she uh, anytime she breaks up with a guy, she writes a. a she a breaks nasty up with a song. lot of guys. She writes a lot, she lot of songs. Yeah. yeah, but the other reference with the scratch in the back is that Millie came to me one day and she goes, "Did you hear that Katy Perry attacked Taylor Swift?" And I go, "What the fuck are you talking about?" She goes, "I heard she scratched her on the back with a knife in a fight." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And I finally figured out that song, "Bad Blood." She mentions being stabbed in the back. Millie took that literally. She <laughs> had, oh, she idiom. Yeah. yeah well, don't, uh, don't insult his daughter. Jesus yeah. Christ. Wow, she's young. <laughs> I didn't call her an idiot. Idiom. She, she didn't know. It's, not, it's, it's like oh. four letters better than an idiot. So it's Father Rory conjures a spiritual <laughs> weapon here, uh, a mace, but it misses. I'm going to tell Millie you said that. If Taylor Swift <laughs> stopped breaking up with boys, what would she write songs about? She would have no music. Yeah. Yeah. That's why she keeps doing it. All right, then it I'm is. I'm going to put it in this. She just shakes it okay. off. Does she shakes it off. Just yeah. shake, 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 shake it off. I feel like this is also a reference. Would I be to a song? To a song. with that? Uh, like, yeah. shake it off. Does it threaten? Yeah. Um, let's shake see. it off. No, that's Just not. shake it off. I keep okay. moving. Can't stop, won't stop screwing. Okay. I'll get there. So, you're you're better off. Today. I'm about but you know six what? years away. I'll, 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 yeah. Sure. Okay. Because, I mean, yeah. Uh, it would make sense. It makes sense, yeah. Young So, yeah, you get to flank. Yes, why? that's why I know about Taylor Swift. All right. Nah's gonna move to here so that she's flanking with Orma. I'd and say she's gonna take a bunch of attacks. I'm a millennial. Damn. She's a millennial. Nah, okay, nah took enough. your flanking position. I'm flanking? Uh uh. Am I not? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you're not. Are you fucking kidding Wait. me? <laughs> how is how are we, how are so everyone not you know, flanking there? Isn't everyone not flanking her? <clears throat> no. Then she's flanking. Is, now, now you're nice. just screwed. Orma. That's fine. Fuck well, Orma. Though. I have the fucking. I have attacks. the dice. I, I, I'm dude. looking out for you, Al. I got the I'll extra just damage. Use one of my arms. Okay. <laughs> Put me in striking oh, wait, position. This is with stiff arm. Coach, I can yeah. do it. Put me in, coach. <laughs> I can hit her. Um. So 17 <laughs> hits. So that's one I hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit. Was it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Hammer. It seemed like. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, I was just like letting you. All right. Oh, you're avoiding it. Okay. Flanking really makes a difference. Thank you. All right. So that is. I'm. I just realized flanking makes a difference. Yeah. Um, Ooh, 28 points of damage. 11 plus 9, 20 points of damage. It, all it takes is flanking for Na to actually land a hit. <laughs> Should we clap for Na finally <laughs> connecting? You did it! <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to spend. I'd rather do that. Point nah, and try to silence, stun. And, then, and, and her, she didn't uh, fall down at all or anything. Just goes, she didn't? No. There's <laughs> <laughs> just one single cough. <laughs> oh. Ooh, you got yeah. Uh, yes. uh, what's his name there? Eleven. Dimash. So Dimash. She was like, you, You've struck a devastating blow. Javon sounds a lot like hedonism, but I don't know. He does sound a lot like does, hedonism, yeah. bot. and they're oh, they're both robots. Do you think they're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Futurama reference. All right. Thank you. So well, I, with, I'm just with the name. I don't know with you the know. last you didn't know uh, half hit, the other stuff. Uh, Na I, does a uh, palm strike against uh, Sanji's face, and Sanji's kind of reeling from that blow, so she is stunned. I, now. I can see how you'd be confused with how she looks and all, but that side's not her face. So she had turned to face. No. All right. You happy now? She's yeah. exposed her anus to you. Strike. Oh, dude, I'm shoving all this right. moon blade right up her bum. So then, but. Uh, well, this would have been Sanji's turn, but she's stunned, so she can't do anything. Oh! Stop, bitch. And then Cork moves up. Okay, and Cork fucks everything up. No, he'll move to here. Now everybody's fall flanking. Over, fall over. Okay, he can stand up. Do it, Cork. Come on. Okay. I got. I got. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. You don't got it. Right. So Cork drops the short bow, pulls out a short sword, and tries to stab, and he gets to backstab. Oh. Yay! Oh, hey. Hey. Oh. It's like yeah, Kiwi's Playhouse when you get the word. Yeah. Uh, the day. All right, so okay, you got it. Uh, word. <laughs> Two D six. Plus. Anytime they said a word. Yeah. Went crazy. Hey. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um. 
right. Pee Wee Herman uh, didn't touch kids. Didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just himself yeah. in a theater. Which is in a porno fine. theater. I mean, supposedly. Who's was gonna a... complain about a guy jerking off in a porno theater? That's Certainly not Fred he... Willard. Don't. Go... And he got off with it. They were like, ah, Fred Willard. LOL. Yeah. Ruined, Everybody loves you. Ruined Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he's, 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 he's been another thing. Yeah, but it it fucked him hard for a long time. The problem is he he's still Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, it's there's not a lot of people upward. associate porn. He did other stuff. He was in Thirty Rock like Kids. He was also yeah. in Reno Nine One. He was in Black. He was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. What? Oh yeah, oh, he, was he, was he, yeah. he was in Mystery yeah. Men. Yeah. What? Oh God. I. I he was didn't the, necessarily boost his career, yeah. but everybody should. He was the Penguin's dad in Batman Returns. Yeah, there you go. I didn't know that. So. Was he? Was he? What? Yeah. Oh. Mark He's Hamill was in Kingsman. Shit. <laughs> 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 I've seen that movie four times and I didn't know that. <laughs> Borealis. Uh, I'm going to try out Dissever here. Oh, uh, take okay. A couple of attacks. All right. I'm at advantage here because of the flanking. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. most assuredly a hit. But I'll roll well, what's the number though? Because it makes a difference now what you roll. Oh right, it, yeah, it, it activates that. Okay, uh, all right. that's cool. a twenty-six. All right, yeah. Uh, but let me roll again to see if I get a crit since I'm at advantage and I didn't. So that one, that attack did uh, sixteen points of damage. No, yeah, sixteen points of damage. Okay. Uh, Is it just an instant set amount? Or? If I exceed the target's AC uh -huh. by a certain amount, then I do max damage automatically. Oh wow, that's awesome. Then I'll take my second attack. That is fucking awesome. Uh, that is a 15. I'll roll again because I'm at advantage. Not 10. Miss. On the mm, second one. Okay. We get a solid hit in there. Um, all right. She's looking pretty wounded. And then it is Mogar. Fiercely bruised. Excellent. All right. I'm going to attack with my sweet ass moon blade. You can still uh, hear me going. And I've got advantage. So that's uh, right, and she's a shapeshifter, so you get uh, extra damage dice. Is that true? Mm hmm. Does that say that on here? Yeah, the 1d10 extra. Let's just assume he's right. The, the one, well, it says on here the 1d10 is a bonus action. Oh. Gosh, you're leaking on mm. your character sheet. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Then. No, okay, wait. wait, wait. There oh. should be. It you says uh, when activated with a bonus action, it sheds this light and deals an extra one. Detail. Oh, yeah. So you can use the bonus action to activate. It's like you're mentally commanding the blade to light up. Yeah. Like you're activating the lightsaber. Mm -hmm. But once it's Five active, bonds. then yeah, it does extra damage. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. They have to make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. And if they fail, then yeah, sure. then they're on fire. <clears throat> All right. So first, I'll just do my attack roll. Okay. With advantage. Uh, eighteen is my higher one. Okay, that hits. And then I will do my second attack roll. Uh, twenty-two is my higher one. That hits. Uh, okay, so that's two attacks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna attack. Okay, I'm gonna attack. Let me think about this here. So I've got two D8s to start with, but I'm also going to use Divine Smite at second level. Oh, okay. Um, is she a fiend or undead? She's a fiend. She's a fiend. Okay, so oh, using no. my Divine Smite <laughs> at Man. level two, I get four D8s. Okay. So I've got my two attack D8s. Let me roll those first. She's going to explode. <laughs> Seven. Then I've got my four D8s for Divine Smite. Okay. Seven plus nine is 16 plus five is 21. Then I'm also going to use my D8 from oh, Jingles. Okay. So that's 21 plus three. That's 24. Uh, then my... Bonus damage plus dueling is 18, so that's 42 damage. And then did you add the, the did, did you did. activate the moon blade? Because you would get the two I didn't, I didn't activate that. And now I'll use the bonus action to activate the moon blade. And then you get 2d10 damage. Jesus. What was I at? 40, 40, uh, 42. 42 uh -huh. plus 2d10s. You're right. Yep. I forgot about that one. I'm gonna write winner on the top of your <laughs> <laughs> plus eight. That's fifty. Fifty damage. 
shit. Winner. Take that, you bitch. Um, I feel like you just splashed everyone around you with her. And it was all very concentrated. <laughs> she might go flying, but Mogar does not. No, I mean, just you, you yeah. hit her. Oh, yeah. She... No, I agree. I mean, the like, blood and guts Meat could go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're whatever's in there. We, we haven't really oh, that was only anything. one yeah. fucking second level yeah. spell. It might be. Lavender mist. Blue? Who knows? So <laughs> you, um, yeah, you, like. You pissed her you off. You cut her <laughs> belly open, and then you stick your sword in again, right under her breastbone, and you slice up and just. Vivisector. What an unnecessarily gross back. way to kill her. When you get a 50, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta unnecessarily die. <laughs> and then the guess, orb just bonks on her face and rolls off. <laughs> I guess yeah. this means we're not getting back together. I, well, you know. You the orb cast mending uh, does lose its glow and it falls to the ground. Blood. I can try and sew her back up. No. All right. It's better. I just, I'm going to keep moving forward. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Let's go check on that Family guy in the done. table. Oh, After yeah. that oh, decisive yeah. blow. I'll throw a potion in this guy's tummy. After that decisive blow, Mogar right. realizes he's got to urinate. <laughs> um, Kill and does that. Gonna, unfortunately, by this point, the guy has expired. Oh, okay. ah, shit. No. Throw a potion at him anyway. It's been yeah. 10 seconds. Uh -huh. Critical 10 seconds. Pretty, <laughs> yeah, he's, there's a lot of Ooh. blood. Father Dory, this yeah, is on you. Mm -hmm. of him. That's uh, a good point. Father Dory never even did he? No, he did. Oh. He, yeah, he, he cast spiritual weapon. He moved up and cast spiritual weapon. Try to kill her. I, I was I was attempting to neutralize the threat here. Uh, I, Look, we needed that guy. And actually, I did ask if anyone needed healing, and no one responded. So I the guy was that, too hurt to respond. Well, but say, no, ah. no one else said that I should heal. Father Dory, oh triage, God. man. It triage. Was, well, you yeah. identify the yeah, most yeah. dangerous. There was a hideous hag there threatening us with this powerful magic orb. I, I felt it was necessary to take care of that. <laughs> all right, let's, let's, let's just resurrect him and let's get Let's, let's go see if maybe he's all the way dead or like maybe mostly he's got something dead. In. Maybe he's just mostly dead. Maybe he's even got bellows. <laughs> uh, Inflate his lungs. Um, the chocolate oh, coating oh, makes it go open. down uh, easier. Yeah. Make it go down easier. You got to wait a few minutes for potency. Yes, Lucky he's pretty dead, unfortunately. Damn it. Pretty dead. All right, let's root through Not his pockets. Totally Maybe dead. he had some information <laughs> or something. Maybe he left a note. Yeah, like, needed. the thing you needed to know is always right here. Always leave a note. Yeah, um, maybe he had like a journal, like a moleskin. Mm -hmm. And he was yeah. just jotting down his feelings. Hey, how about this orb? Does orb let us talk to ghost, maybe? Uh, so, no. Well, I'm- you, Oh, orb, dibs on orb. So, you, you find the orb there. It's not doing anything right now. You're it's, the one that lost the orb. Well, I, I found it. Um, so, yeah, no, the orb is, is, uh, inert right now. Hmm. Ah, dibs. Oh, but I don't. No, um, no, no, no dibs. I have the orb. Bad. You lost the orb. I well, think I maybe it. he paid for it. Like, it's like asshole tax. Yeah. You know, when you date <laughs> a guy and he leaves his, his speed wheel scream t-shirt in your bedroom, but then he ghosts you for two weeks so he can go skiing in Colorado... That t-shirt is yours. Came That's asshole Came up with tax. that off very, the top of your head, did you? <laughs> <laughs> very, very close <laughs> to what happened in this situation, too. Yeah. Uh, just replace <laughs> the shirt with the orb and replace the guy with Sanji. <laughs> yeah. It's asshole tax. I'll, I'll, just, I'll put it in my pocket. It's pretty... It, it's like a foot in diameter. I'll just hold the fucking thing. Okay. If I touch it, does anything happen? Um, so, okay. You, so you touch it? Oh, that's yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He touched it. All right. He's activated. Now it's like that other scene in Lord of the Rings when Mary grabs the palantir. <laughs> you get all of her herpes. <laughs> <laughs> that was HPV, wasn't it? it yeah, it was. Okay. Sorry, HPV. That was what was causing the warding. Okay. And all uh, go ahead and roll D twenty. It's a really and um, Jeff has touched your, it's a my immune system just yeah. got critted. Je Jeff has touched the orb and now has to roll a d20. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, that was a 18 plus what? Oh, uh, your uh, wisdom modifier. Sure, you... 17. All right. Oh, you're at minus one to this. Okay. Well, luckily that's still a high enough roll. Uh, so you um, you get a sense that the orb is trying to reach into your mind. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> it finds no. Uh, but you're able to resist it, and it doesn't. It doesn't. Too much. Like you can, you it, can feel the the orb gets lost in the emptiness <laughs> of the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find it. So. Grab onto. <laughs> um, but you, you, I'm trapped in here with him. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel like if you kept uh, sort of wrestling with whatever this thing is inside the orb, that you 
it's it's possible you might be able to control it somehow. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to control okay. it. Okay. All right, so you, you, it'll take you a while. Sounds though. like a yeah. terrible idea. All right. yeah. So you sit down, and so you, you guys see Bo Jingle sit down, and he's got the orb. What are you like, doing? At it. Well, it's like a Rubik's Cube. That's an evil, like, glowy orb thing. No, it's, it's the orb we were supposed to find in, in the way, way on, long back. We Wait, wasn't Father it. Dory initially protecting this orb? No, no, no. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, they're right, right. We just found it around. Yeah, around the same time. Don't worry, I'm going to control it, and then we can use it for us. Uh, that sounds like something villains say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, bef before you get too deep in that, why don't we show it to the green alchemist? He probably knows what it is. Yeah, He's okay. a smart guy. Yeah, he seems green. So, yeah, so stop commuting with the orb. Yeah. Okay. Bit. I stopped commuting and we'll just go take it to the green alchemist, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, what should right. we like? What should, what, should, what should we do with this guy? Like, we'll just put it in his hat. I mean, you know? he's dead, right? Who cares? What do we do with him? Do we need to take? Let's like, root through his pockets. What's he got? I thought this was the orb thing. we needed to kill the Raja, right? Wasn't it a thing? I think you're making. We have that no up. idea what this. No is. one. Uh, no, I remember. You remember something? I remember something? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll I, I guess we'll search this with the guy. Raja. Okay. No, the Raja is a shapeshifter. So we got. Eleven. Also, I say we take him. Allegedly, I think so. You know, maybe. Uh, Greeny seems like he's got a lot of Make out there power. Yeah. yeah, maybe he'll, he'll be the next Giovage or something. He'll slap some clockwork maybe. in him and get hey, corpsey with us. <laughs> yeah, he'll slap a butterfly right. in his belly, and the guy will be like, ah. we'll right back to Alice in Wonderland. Um, okay, so but you do search the body first, and you f do find a note on uh, on his person. You always leave a note. Yeah, yep. and it okay. says that um, the plans to mine the star metal are going apace, and we are ahead of schedule, actually. Where, so are they going apace, or are they ahead of schedule? They're actually ahead of schedule. Oh, That's man. the planet. That is, that is some poor communication. I sense some, some troubled corporate uh, yeah. restructuring going on uh. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you also find a, a, pa um, a purse with um, 50 gold pieces in it. He carries a purse. Fine. Ten each, like a coin it's purse, a, or like a purse. Yeah, purses are very convenient. Yeah, but a purse back then is what, right? I would say back like a then, of the time of, yeah. of in where we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah. a money bag. You know right? what? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give my imagine a bag with string. To who? The quirk. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna give mine to Thanks, me. Thanks, Albus. He's gonna give it to me. I'm gonna go Take find. It. That's for you, buddy. Akshay. You're a great friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Akshay needs a cut of he's this. He's on another in another realm. To be fair, also he's broke at this point. Yeah. Hey, no, he's <laughs> it all. I'm sure he's <laughs> fucking spent it all. Do we need just like a dimensional shoot that you could just yeah. drop stuff can, in? Can we can we get a direct deposit for him? Akshay uh, drop. Uh, do we have any transdimensional banks? <laughs> no Western Union. All right. Um, so you guys managed to drag the body back to the Green Alchemist, and um, we whistle while we do it. He, <laughs> you guys are really filthy too. I mean, he's just <laughs> dripping blood and gore everywhere. I assume yeah. the strong uh, people did it. No, I'm, I'm probably still. Yeah, I think, I think I'm good. Yeah, Orma's got four fucking arms, so yeah, I feel like do it kind of on her. Oh, she's doing right. most so of the work. Orma, the, uh, this this honor falls upon uh, you. Just saying. Look at all those arms. You know, you, yeah. you're rich. Yeah, but none of the arms want to be covered in goose. I mean, none of us want a lot of this, but let's know, wrap him the in the tablecloth. Dealt with. We just loop. But he, this yeah. guy didn't want to die. No. We well, don't know that. He might have. Can I can I cast mending on his belly and just like? <laughs> Hey, that's a good point. You can seal his belly up. Uh, he'll I mean, still, he'll be, still dead. be dead. We're just but gonna push his stuff inside and. Thank you very much. This will repair the single break or tear. They clean up this corpse for you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can we right. just get all it's of like the super goo? Glue. Yeah. 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 Oh wait, where are my keys? Just uh, shove it back in, and I'll I'll close. Oh close no, it. the thin mint. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I resealed his belly. He's all okay. good. So I'm it fine says with that, that it can up to a foot. Uh, in Is any, he, so how, but it, it, he? It's like this. So oh, you, you mend most of it. But there's still a hole. Can I do it like two? Oh, I guess you can. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Last. All right, you playing the. Uh, you're playing piano. No, you have down. a torso again. Then <laughs> make hey, a wild magic roll. Two, two wild magic. Listen, I hope this was worth it. Is that it? 
Spicy's roll twice. Because of uh, two yeah, bending. Two and an 18, so we just missed it on both ends. Oh, yeah. Two wow. rolls. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, but yeah, you had to mend up his body. So, uh, okay, then I'll carry him. Okay. It's like stomach staples only. Do you I mean, there's, still, there's like, still a lot of blood. Just like you carry yeah. him like, uh, it's like what Al Roker ceremoniously, got. like with all four arms over your head. No, you know, I'm like Spider Man like... after he stopped the train and then they yeah. passed him back. So are the yeah. lower arms longer so they can reach uh, up also? I don't think so, uh, right? Um, how I don't know. Actually, Orma, like, what do you, you this is Orma's idea, so uh, I think. The, are the lower arms longer or, or they, the same length? I guess they should be like lower. attached up here. I think they right? should like be the same right? down here. I think they should we be down the like on your, like a... On the ribs? You know, sure. like an orthropod. But are they like normal thing. size? Are they all four of the same? I think that, yeah, they're all I think that makes similar. Sense. Think that makes so sense. those, the, the lower ones wouldn't be able to reach up above the head. I mean, maybe probably just, just yeah. Yeah. above the head, I just mean, not as high yeah. as the yeah. upper one. You just yeah. don't extend. I think, well, and then yeah, I think the, the upper one's, one's got to come down like a little. This? Yeah, and the lower ones. All right, so up. we're there. We got it. We got, we got there. It. Orma figured out <laughs> how to carry out. the guy. We right. need to go on an excursion <laughs> to buy new fine clothes I'm not, for Orma. We gotta buy. I say we split up. We gotta buy. We gotta buy four armed clothes for Orma, and we gotta buy clothes for the dead guy. We can even do that. He's still wearing just like an old jerk. You guys get the Orma clothes. Yeah, we'll go get the dead guy clothes. Orma punched two holes out of her current. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah. As they grew. Right. Do you think they started as like little larval arms and just kind of went... Oh, like when you put your thumbs through your cuffs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? You got two arms and two thumbs so far. And the thumbs I don't know when, you were, when you were, you know, a little high school loser and you would put your thumbs through your cuffs so that you could have your... Droopy sleeves all the way down. I'm gonna be honest. Your mope wear. I was a huge I know exactly uh, high school. What you're Thank loser, you. But I, I Orma was that. super goth back in. See, when I was a kid, I had to <laughs> cut those holes in. Now they make them like that. They, they it's so convenient. Yeah. Huh. Technology, yeah. science. Yeah. science. All right. It's amazing. Very, you're very cool. So, so we dragged in the yeah. bleedy. Although, I mean, it, the body guy. is still covered in blood and shit. And yeah, but Christ, he's right. Let me is it dripping? The There's tubes thing? in there. Yeah, oh, it's, I'm not holding it He's not it dripping above anymore. Oh, you're holding it in front of you. I'm but, just yeah. sort of like... Are you doing this? Maybe like... All right. I hit him yeah. with a ray of frost to freeze all that shit oh on God. there. You're freezing the <laughs> you corpse. Brilliant. Now he's right. preserved for Brilliant. the old wild magic. Well, yeah, wild magic. I can, Show me I'm, 20! I just discovered I'm a mortician. Yep, yep. <laughs> got a great career ahead of you. 15. Damn. There we go. So now he's not drippy, and he's all sealed up. <laughs> he's cold as shit, and he's uh, slippery uh, now. He's I have preserved the body. So your your hands start to go numb as That's you're carrying snort. the body. There's some okay. snorting going on over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did my best. All right. I hope yeah. that yeah. you've got cold <laughs> hands, but they're not <laughs> gross <laughs> or actively. But dry. with four hands, she's an excellent juggler. So yeah, it's not I could a problem. just do like yeah. the you know like ooh. Exactly. Yeah, just one and pick one off at a time. <laughs> yeah. You still got my Starbucks. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh. All right. All right. So we take um, his frozen, not drippy, back. sealed up body back yeah. to the alchemist. Um, but as you're walking through the, uh, the balmy night, he does start to melt. So eventually you <laughs> are covered. Right. Right. I've done <laughs> everything <laughs> I can. Frank hates you. <laughs> All there is to say. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Uh, it's a cantrip. I could keep freezing him as we're walking. Oh, you can? Yep. I'll oh, do this all the way true. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Free. Oh, man. How many wild magics does he have yeah, to roll for I'll that? All, all, you know, ten. All the trigger, way home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a possibility he doesn't. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a lot, That's though. three. I think this how many is what roll? the kids call a That's rabbit. That's four. Still haven't hit one. Yeah, hey, we're there. I'll just say you, you hit one eventually. Because it's a... I mean, you're trekking all the way down the mountain. So, uh, go ahead and roll a percentage dice. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've just rolled four times and I hit it. And oh. Well, then the other one fell out of your hand. Half of it. Yeah. To, uh, the other D10. This one? Okay. Orma what is long is suffering. It? It's an and 80 is going and a 1. To 81. One is it 81 or is it 118? <laughs> 118. <laughs> what is it? It's 01. It's eight. <laughs> okay, nothing bad happens. What happens? You, you actually end up Nothing. casting, uh, at one point, the wild magic lets you cast uh, the the cantrip again, like almost right away. That you worked out great. Yeah. So now he's so you're good. freeze. Okay, Probably. so you guys, get to, uh, you guys get to the green alchemist freeze. with this frozen body. And um, he, so he examines it. He says, well, I, unfortunately, uh, 
resurrection magic is not one of my specialties. I, I it was for nothing. I mean, uh, all of that was for nothing. I mean, maybe you... I can transmute I from one state say... of matter to another. I thought he was going to say I can, I can, I can, state. <laughs> well, I can resurrect that any dead creature uh, who has a in energy. <laughs> uh, maybe you do like. Do you uh, have bubble bath magic? Because I would like some of that, please. Yes, I, I do. Totally unrelated. Follow to the frozen me. Thank you. Press the digitate. Bubble bath magic? That's pretty. He said he does. I guess. I mean, wouldn't that be one of the things you? It's him blowing it into a straw. Now, <laughs> if it comes out of one of his orifices, are you still okay with it? Well, his mouth is an orifice. Right? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, I'm cool. either way. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The mouth is one of the big three orifices. It's one of the big three. It is. Big three. <laughs> they, they got, got, they got a laugh in the back of <laughs> wow. the it. The kitchen <laughs> loves <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you think the mouse's mouth probably second of the big three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would so say it's the, the number one. <laughs> That's the biggest. So uh, well, I mean biggest as far as like off yeah, travel. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what I mean. I want to hear it. But like, one of those other ones can definitely get bigger. I than feel that. like if you're going in a That's hole, true. For you have one, a great point. One of those you can start. You start with that. That's number one. You that's, use that for that's, food, too. That's so it gets hole. a lot of use. As the go-to. Secondary is the mouth hole. You and put other third. things in the mouth, though. You can I mean, put things in a lot of these. I agree, but I'm just air. saying. Like, again, just, I mean, we want to talk human reproduction. That's not number one. Yeah, but you, know? you need so much more. To, you have to be alive to get to reproduce. So you got to put air and food in the mouth. Yeah, but we're not talking about air and food. We're talking I'm about doing seeing. the deed to a hole. That's an important That's orifice. That's the second hole. For so many thought, How's it going, Green Owl? Can we, we get anything we out of this guy? I thought we were talking about bubble bath. Yeah. Well, we were. <laughs> we were. We, start, we started with bubble <laughs> bath. Can we just, like, uh, we string him up, up and, and whack him like a pinata or something and get some info out of him? What is he good for? Uh, get his third <gasps> hole. Uh, the the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the gentleman that recognizes <laughs> the the, the, four, the lady with four arms raised. Orma here. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. Each hand goes higher than the next. Can we somehow <laughs> commune with his spirit? Who cares? In the afterlife. And see which holy ones. <laughs> Unless so you, you ask, can find a, a, talk to him. Talk to him in the Ask him what the big, the best hole is. Do we have a <laughs> what second got, in the big? Three? He's got to settle this. this uh, okay, right. we need a ghost to right. sort this the, out. Yes, we'd have to find a a uh, someone who practices the necromantic arts. Assume we give the green alchemist the note as well, and we let him Maybe know everything that was is all he cared a about. A pace ahead of schedule. <laughs> oh, no. but what I if show, they're paid? I show them the ore. Had a schedule. And I go, okay. hey, this uh, can I have this? This is not bad. This, this seems cool, right? Measurement of. Oh, Ooh, I can think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can yeah. control it for our good. What is it? He has like, uh, telekinesis and he doesn't touch it. He right. Just has I think that's what that land is. on one of it. Like, it look at it and it's uh, like uh, it can stop magic no, from hurting us. I don't know what approaching. But it's the impression I get. Approaching infinity. Well, expert goes to infinity. So, and and this is a very troubling note as well. That's huge. We'll we'll have to we'll we're handing him. We'll have to discuss this next episode. Then be on scheduled. Heroes and Halfwits. Are you are we the Green no. Alchemist just broke the fourth wall? We're not cancelled? 